Hello, everyone. I'm back for a very brief overview of Chapter 4. Chapter 4 has um, quite what I consider to be quite a good discussion about some of the issues in the United States that um, really um, we see are problematic, particularly for um, people of color. Um, and so, for example, there's a discussion about wealth inequality, which uh, is something that all of us should be concerned about. There's um, also a discussion about um, the workplace, the economy, um, and something that sociologists call a, a split labor market. Um, and that's uh, an idea in which um, the notion is that at any given workplace, there will be you know, typically two groups of workers, workers who um, have more, um, they, they get higher wages, they tend to be more educated, they um, have more opportunities for advancement. Um, and then typically these are um, Caucasian Americans who are in these positions. And then the other positions are ones in which uh, we see that it's mostly people of color in positions, um, in work positions that uh, do not pay quite as much. And of course, they don't require as much education. Um, but that doesn't mean that the job that they're doing isn't just as important or quite very important even to the workplace. Um, and so you could think about um, something like, um, oh, well, uh, uh, I was going to say sports, but that's not a good example because coaches don't get paid anywhere near what players get paid. Um, uh, uh, think about people who work in meat packing, um, the meat packing industry. So people who do the drudgery, the drudge work, uh, which can be dangerous because you have to be very quick uh, and you work with sharp equipment to um, slot, well, the animals are generally already slaughtered, but to cut this animal up into the various parts um, that will then be sent to market. Um, that's a, a very repetitive, um, difficult job. And um, these are people who generally don't get paid um, what that kind of work uh, really should require uh, be paid. Um, so that's an example of a split labor market. Also, you can see um, gender by gender. So uh, women tend to be K through 12 teachers, where um, as men are the principals, typically, uh, etc. Uh, again, not saying that there aren't women who are doing some of these jobs. But if we look overall at who the people are that are in charge, it typically is overwhelmingly one gender represented uh, in administrative positions in K through 12 schools and the other gender overrepresented in the classroom. Um, so there's also a discussion about welfare. Um, and so hopefully you'll understand a little bit more um, how that works. Um, and so overall, I think it's a, a really good chapter. Um, I hope you find it interesting. Um, and I um, created a discussion for you about wealth inequality. And so hopefully you enjoy learning a little bit more about some ideas that at least one individual has for um, trying to reduce wealth inequality in the United States. So that's it. And um, I will see you next week for the Chapter 5 overview. Bye.